from the IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome back to another episode of Braves Beat. I'm Dylan Condor. And I'm Gino Cardosi. Well Dylan, it seems like we're the most Irish people in Braves Beat. Which means we must dress in green and act a fool for our school's entertainment. Exactly. So why did the leprechaun cross the street? I imagine it's because he wanted to. No, it's because it was green. Oh, of course. Well, gotta love some heritage. But there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get right on to it. This week's International Women's Month Spotlight focuses on African-American poet Amanda Gorman. From a young age, Gorman has become an extremely accomplished poet, as she was chosen for First Youth Poet Laureate of Los Angeles and was chosen to be the National Youth Poet Laureate the next year. At the age of 16, Amanda published her first book and caught the attention of men and women everywhere. Notably, Amanda is known for her focus on oppression and feminism and has inspired many to continue the fight for equal rights no matter one's race or gender. This past weekend, the middle school and high school Science Olympiad teams competed in the regional tournament and both teams advanced to the state competition. With a virtual awards ceremony, we held an in-person awards ceremony yesterday for our teams and wanted to share the awards with you as well. In fact, all the scores are right here. If you have these students in class, please be sure to congratulate them on their amazing accomplishments. IHNHS and American Red Cross are hosting an upcoming blood drive next Tuesday. And they made a video for us with more information. Let's check it out. Blood is needed about every two seconds in the U.S. It is essential to help patients survive surgeries, cancers, treatments, chronic illnesses, and traumatic injuries. With what's been going on in Ukraine right now, we want to offer support. All blood that is donated helps contribute to our ability to share resources. The blood drive is March 22nd from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the theater lobby. You have to be 16 years or older to donate, and 16-year-olds must fill out a parental consent form beforehand. To sign up, you can either stop by the table at lunch on Monday or go to the link on Canvas. Thanks for that report, and I hope you all go and donate. The Indian Hill School District congratulates three students who are state qualifiers for the 2022 Ohio Governor's Youth Art Exhibition following their regional performance. Students Michelle Fu, Vivian Zhu, and Naomi Chandler advanced for more than 1,000 works of art submitted this year from a Southwest region. Congratulations! 29 IH DECA students qualified for internationals. The first ever IH DECA state officer and first place winner went to our very own William Dalton. This year we were live and in person with even better results. Of our 62 competitors, 50 advanced to the finals and 40 finished in the top 10 of their event. We had 9 first place finishes and again 29 international qualifiers. Good luck in the international competition. Conquer the Hill is back Saturday, April 23rd. The 5K race starts at Indian Hill High School at 8.30 a.m. with games for the kids at the finish line at Tomahawk Stadium. Register by March 31st and get your free shirt included with your entry fee. What exactly is Pi Day? The holiday is celebrated every year on March 14th, signifying the first three significant digits of the mathematical constant and Greek letter Pi, 3.14. Last week, in celebration of this delicious day, some lucky students had a chance to pie their favorite teachers. Here's the footage. I am so proud of our school and fantastic teachers. 20 IH Latin students from grades 7 to 12 attended the Ohio Junior Classical League Convention this past Saturday, March 12th in Columbus, Ohio. Our first in-person convention since 2019, as OJCL was only one day event this year. Many events took place before this weekend and students have been actually submitting projects and participating in contents since mid-February. Bray's Beat reporter Greta Zender had a chance to speak with a couple Latin competitors. Check this out. Hello Braves, I'm Greta Zender and I'm here with Hannah Kramer and Ryan Ramakler to talk about the 2022 OJCL convention. So Hannah, what is OJCL? OJCL is basically a bunch of Latin students that come from multiple different schools and we uh, do a lot of trivia relating to Latin and Roman culture. We do tests and we do like graphic arts and recitation and it's usually a lot of fun. So Nice. Sounds great, Hannah. So, Ryan, how did you guys do? Um, with the results that we have so far, we've done pretty well. We had a Kratomin team come in sixth. We had two people win Best in Show for graphic arts projects. Those were uh, Nathan Patty and Grace Zhao. And uh, we're really excited to get the rest of our results later, but I think we're feeling pretty good about it. 
That's great. Thanks, you get, thanks for coming. The middle school show of Disney's Cinderella is playing tonight and tomorrow at 7 p.m. Buy your tickets in the link in the description below. Come out and support this great performance. The Cincinnati Academy of Performing Arts, also known as CAPA, is offering a film production camp this summer. The camp takes place on July 25th to 29th and August 1st through 5th in Cincinnati. The camp is limited to 15 students, so you will want to register as soon as possible to be sure you get in. Buy your spot in the link in the description below. Steven has been excited all week to show off his new weather, or should I say, sports package. Let's check it out. I'm Steven Trainer, and I'm here for your weather, I mean sports report. Let's get right into the news. Baseball played Winton Woods, crushed them, absolutely clobbered them. Hit the bats, and they got the runs. 0-17 to 17 for that score. Next. Indian Hill, girls across. They're sitting on the thrones now with a 21-9 victory over Kings. Here we go. Softball. The game did not finish because it was ended due to an injury. Next on Thursday, we have baseball playing Talawanda at home. We have girls lacrosse playing at Mason versus Mason. And we have boys lacrosse playing CCD at Indian Hill. Friday, we have an 80% chance of rain with a high 66, low 48. And then Saturday, we have a 50% chance of rain with a high 59 and a low 43. Going to be a very rainy weekend. Next, on Sunday, we have uh, sunny with partially clouds, high 61, low 39. Next, we have boys lacrosse playing Beaver Creek at home. On Tuesday, we have a 50% chance of rain, high 57, low 46. We have 16 mile per hour winds coming from south, southeast. It's going to move to the south by um, the evening. Wednesday, we have boys lacrosse playing Kings at home. Then we have girls lacrosse playing Kentucky Country Day um, at Kentucky Country Day. Next, we have uh, it's going to be a cloudy day on Thursday, high 57, low 45. Then Friday, it's going to be sunny with partially clouds, high 66, low 41. And on Saturday, uh, baseball plays Napoleon at UC, so if you want to go see that game, go to UC's campus. Thank you, and roll it back to the desk. Fantastic news, Stephen. You make a terrific weatherman. Yearbooks are being sold right now, and you can and should pick them up before spring break, which means you only have one week left. When you can, email Mr. Grease to get yours before they sell out. The 2022 OCLRE Mock Trial State Championships were held this past Saturday on March 12th, which was originally scheduled to be in person in Columbus, but in addition to a virtual competition due to travel conditions. Our team of Avery Valls, Gulran Almaratova, Sarika Singh, Yamini Balaji, Sophie Shabri, Lily Andrews, and William Dalton, and Ashwini Krishnan made it to the finals, but ended up settling for state runner-up. Prior to the state finals, the students prevailed against six previous state championship schools consecutively for this season, including district, regional, and state levels competition. The students had a record of eight wins until the final state championship match. A special shout out to Guru Ron Almartova, who received an outstanding attorney award for the state final match. Uh, so, Dylan, I don't see you as anchor that much. Will you be returning anytime soon? Not a chance. Someone has to make sure this goes smoothly. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. I didn't even know we had a boom mic. So be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hey, what's up, Breeze B? Hey, what's up, Breeze B? I'm with the unguardable. <laughs> Will, you can hear. Weeks. You heard it here first. And I, we're going to play basketball to test out if he's actually on guard one or not. <laughs> All right, so we got the two contenders here. We got, we got Dylan Minocha. Um He's been challenging the fact of Will Heakin is actually on guard or not. What you got to say for yourself? I think I can guard Will Heakin because he's not sturdy and he's not gritty. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? <laughs> All right, so we got, we got the second one. We got Johnny Cobb. Um, why do you think you can guard him? You know why. <laughs> what you gotta say for that? You know why. You know why you get point. You know why you garbage. But let's see if you garbage. <laughs> why do you think you can garbage again? Um, because girl power and I'm obviously so much better at him in basketball. You know, I'll go ahead and do one, so I can obviously beat him. What do you have to say? Let's see what happens. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, weeks for Dylan? I saw a matchup here. Oh! <laughs> Lost dribble, but no, we're good. 
oh, he points at him. Ben, you know what I said. That, that's a shot right you know there. That's a good that's shot. That's a weak you know shot. That's a weak shot for you. You got to dance. You got to celebrate your, your, your make. Next up here, we got Johnny. Very good defense. He tried the hardest out of any player. Just not enough. He's just not, <laughs> not enough. enough. Just made not a enough. good shot there. Oh, okay. Oh, Elizabeth, you know, she she can't even score on me. Ah, she scored me once, but that, <laughs> get that out of here. Right, right. Right here, I think. Oh, lucky shot. Like, like she's not doing that in game. Not good looks. Not she, good she's looks. not doing that in game. She's dribbling. Like, do you think what are those, good? Like, what are those moves? <laughs> like, what was that? What was that? Oh yeah. You're just unguardable. She, you can't. She can't do anything there. <laughs> right here. Oh. Points him out. Shots. Shots him out. Oh. 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 Uh, that was a close shot. That was a close shot. shot. Was close shot. I mean, I was out of bounds in this shot, but right, like, like you would have made that on regular day. I mean, I, I was out of bounds, but that was a far shot. I went Ooh. in. Should have counted that, but oh, she can't even guard that. Like, a free, free layup. Too easy. No one can guard me. No one can guard you. No one can guard me. As I was saying, no one can guard me. If you want to guard me, then come try. 